Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. We're still playing the Hearts of Stone DLC and we're gonna try and uh, talk to Olgierd von Everek's wife. I think her name was Iris, if I uh, remember correctly. Well, Olgierd called her uh, his Kendrick. Iris, Kendrick, and we're here at the von Everek Manor. And there's a thief yelling through a hole in the wall. Hello, sir. Kendrick, did something happen? Not so loud. Ah, God, scared me off to. Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F Foglets. Oh, sweet mother, my little. Why did I ever come here? Yeah, that's a good question. Good question. What are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought man has been empty all these years, full of fine things, going to rot. Mm hmm. So you're a thief. Thief, steal from the living. W what's the arm taken from the dead? So you're a grave robber Kendrick then. Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. And nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but. So he's probably dead. Hmm, let's see what we can do about that. What the hell is that? What was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? That was a weird noise. Phew, that's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around, I'm out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh god, Are what the hell was that? Search for the partner of the thief you just met or use your witcher senses rose in this fog. to search the grounds of the Von Everick estate for a violet rose. Well, would that start out with uh, looking for that thief? No violet rose, though. Yes, indeed. The flowers look uh, pretty good. Fresh manure. Huh. Or in other terms, fresh shit. Let's see. Who's this? Can check out different cold. mountain stream cold. Okay, that doesn't tell us much though. What's about <laughs> rather worn, used often. Wonder by who? Probably by the someone that's still living here. Let's see. So the thief was supposed to open the door. This place looks creepy as fuck, and I thought the catacombs were bad. Okay, that's his lamp. A busted lamp, and the grounds trampled. Hello? Someone there? Are those footsteps going Somebody over there? Somebody dragged something this way. A body? That wouldn't be too good. Follow the tracks on the ground. Okay. Someone dragged a wounded man through here. I'm quickly going to take another look around because there are two more places of interest in the garden. So let's quickly look around for those first. So there's an upper area here near the gate. What the hell? Woods rotted completely. So a painting stand. And then we have something in the corner over there. Looks like beehives. Beehives. Well maintained, but dormant. So they're still all being maintained, reinforcing the idea that there must be someone living here. And I'm hoping it's just a wife and not something else, but we've seen something walking through the the garden here. So let's follow the drag marks and footsteps. Completed boots leading from the back of the garden. Because that sounded like a heavy metal when the man was walking around over there. Okay, through this gate. Oh god. And a black cat for some reason. She, that's not a normal cat. Are those lockpicks? I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. Wait a What's second. That? that digging. Wait a second. That black cat is near. Those are lockpicks, right? A lockpick? Must have been the other thieves. Is the cat the thief? 
Did somebody turn the thief into a cat? Black cat. Yeah, okay. Because the drag marks stop right here, so... I'm gonna suppose the thief is the cat. Let's see what else is around here. We can see the noise over there already. See the noise, that's... Oh, and we have more drag marks again. Oh god. This place is pretty big. Is it death himself? As it looks like it. Is that a fresh grave? Graves, unmarked. Laid out in rows, like garden beds. This is getting creepier and creepier. Anything else, Geralt, aside from the... Hey. The guy doing work Harry? over there? That is not a normal person. And I wouldn't draw your sword. But the sword looks fancy right now, doesn't it? Look at that. Because of the uh, insectoid oil I'm that's still on it. Bodies mutilated. Ooh. And whoa. His foot was sewn on. Is that a Frankenstein sort of thing? Look at his feet. They're stitched on. Oh, God. Damn. Is that. That's a faceless man. Oh god. Caretaker, so he must be blind, right? Oh shit. I'm gonna suppose... I, I, I don't know what oil I should use. Holy motherfucking Christ. He's healing. He's fucking healing. Okay, this is not good. I'm constantly losing my shield because of that. I'm gonna try and place an Erden sign if I get the chance. I'm gonna place it. Never mind. God damn it. How am I gonna beat this thing? What the f Oh, he just. He just messes it completely. He dismisses that completely. Yeah, so he takes care of the herd and signs immediately. Oh god, how can I defeat this guy? So when he does that, I have a few free shots. Oh shit, what's going on? Jesus Christ. Okay, so he lost whatever buff that was. He's healing again. I'm just 
just gonna... Oh shit, he, if he takes them out, he's healing. God damn it, I need to take them out. He's healing because he uh, takes down those guys, yeah. There's another one. I got you, buddy. I got you. Oh, what? Almost having him. Oh, he's almost down. There we go. Oh shit, he's gonna explode. It looks he looks like he's gonna explode. I was afraid he was going to stand up again, but... Wow! The what caretaker the has that? been defeated. But the caretaker Lies doesn't have a face. Deformed organs. Damn thing had no right to be alive. But he was, and that cat is coming creepily close. Or maybe... Olgert's wife is the cat? Because it's not the thief. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be yeah, alive. Yeah, there we go. Exactly. Normally I'd be shocked. And the dog. I saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. Okay. A dog and a cat. They're getting along fine, apparently. What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? Well, it was clearly Very created by away. someone. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away. Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. I'm getting creeped out by these two. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Well, obliged by who? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Get They're clearly not humans, then. That. Later. Because they call us humans, meaning they probably aren't. So we're looking for a violet rose. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgierd von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady Von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the Violet Rose Olgierd gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key, it opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. Okay. And they disappeared. Can I loot this thing? So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. Black cat and black dog, then, it is. Let's see if the, the thief was uh, carrying anything. Apparently not. So that was one creepy boss fight. So he, uh, he got his weapon stuck in the floor. Wait, I could... Oh, I can loot him. The caretaker's spade. Oh, he was hitting me with a spade. That was a spade. Oh, God. That was one heavy spade. Okay. Hello, honey. Are you home? Miss My I... House. Oh, fuck. She's a ghost. She's a ghost. So 
there's a door here. A locked door. Another door over here. Locked as well. So let's follow the creepy voices then. Hello? She's gonna be a wraith, probably. Because it doesn't look like anybody's living here. Kinda looks destroyed. Oh, there the painting. The painting looks... off. Yep. A wraith. Hi. Be careful. Okay, and how careful? Search for Iris von Everick on the upper floor of the manor. So we need to get to the upper floor. What's this? Iris's sketchbook. Oh shit. What the hell was that? I'm on edge. For some reason, I'm really on edge. Okay. I hear something whis whistling as well. I I know Geralt said to be careful, but I don't You will die here. I, I hope not. I kinda am attached to my life. A painting of all gear. as I've never known him. A different man then. Okay. Can I open the front door? Just to uh, let a bit of air in? No, key required. Great. And then the room over here. I hear someone. This is a dinner table. Set for three people. Hmm, tidy. And everything is clean, ready for a meal to be served. Caretaker must still set the table. Jesus, motherfucking. Never mind, is this a staircase going up? Nope. So that's probably for. Uh, the fire is all also on, which is weird. For uh, an abandoned house. So let's get up the stairs. Not that side apparently, and this doesn't look stable at all. Yep, there we go. Hi! Hi! She's uh, lovely. Her face is gone on the paintings, which is also a bit weird. Another painting of the loving couple. Happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. So that door seems to be blocked as well. I probably can't get out. So why am I even trying? Hmm. Fire damage. Interesting. Yes, indeed. Because Olgir never really mentioned what happened to his wife after the he uh, transformed the Afiri Prince into a toad. Or not that I can remember anyway. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stop with the creepy noises. So this is not going anywhere. Okay, okay, fine, fine, I'm going outside. Can I go into another room? Passing through here. There's something over there as well. Well, indeed, it is a well, so... The bedroom. And the door opening on its own. And there's another painting of Iris, so I'm going to assume we're going to get another jump scare, although there's one here as well. Oh shit. That's great. Oh wow. So normally I use Earth in this case. And let's of course use a bit of Spectre Oil. 
Ah, Iris fumble. So she doesn't go through my shield completely. Oh, what the fuck is she? No, no. So she can heal on the paintings. Maybe I should fix that. Which painting? Which painting? Jesus Christ, woman. Oh, shit. Take forever. Now you're going down. You're going down. I'm gonna not stop attacking you right now. Oh shit. Jeez, mother. Now you should be going down, Jesus Christ. Come on! Oh, there we go. The wraith from the painting down. Jesus Christ, you couldn't... I don't think you could permanently take out those paintings. And the lights are out again. What the hell was that? And now all the paintings are on fire, so I couldn't take out the paintings permanently, so she always had an opportunity to heal. And, uh, well, I kept my Quen sign on and just kept whacking with the Spectre Oil on, because this was a very long fight. But let's see what this leads that towards. I was supposed to be here. Well, uh, she is there, she's lying on the bed, but first I'm gonna use my ability point. Because we've gotten one, we've uh, reached level 37. If you're wondering, the Viper Armor uh, diagrams we found are for level 40, so I'm gonna make those once we reach that level, but not sooner, of course. Now let's see, we have those combat perks, um, and the first two increase the precision, well, precise blows, so they increase the critical hit chance by uh, a few percentages for either the strong or the normal attacks. And then we have Fleet Footed, damage received from hits received while dodging is reduced, which I might be able to take. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for this one, Fleet Footed. So acquire ability, but we're not gonna equip that just now. Let's see. So she's lying on the bed. We don't know if she's dead. She looks dead. Oh yeah, she's Gotta been be gone. Her. Damn it. A while. You wish to see her? Here she is. What Imagine is wrong with this place? Carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <laughs> That's true. And why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. 
As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. Okay, and how did she die? How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Fine, From man, love. Leave. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief. From loneliness. From the love she lost. In all geared. Okay, and why are you helping me then? The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You want to leave this place, leave these bodies. What is that whisper, uh, that whistling Surprise. we hear in the background? No, not at all. Iris's wrath, what was it born of? Yes, indeed. Her ghost. Is that hurt? Angry. Attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Okay. But uh, we need to talk to her. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm. That sounds Maybe like a good there. idea. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. Good dog. I don't know if he likes that. Find a fitting spot to bury Iris. Um, shouldn't I take the body with me then? Or is she in my uh, pocket like the house, like the Borsodi house was before? Um, but with that said, I'm going to take a little break. And next time we're going to find a spot to bury Iris and hopefully talk to her ghost. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. And uh, with that said, thank you guys again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.